Since I'm watching this movie in the morning, does that mean that this movie should be called Morning of the Living Dead? And sorry for making you listen to that really, really bad joke. Welcome everyone back to the channel. And today we are checking out Night of the Living Dead, the 1968, I believe, classic movie that I think is in the copyright free zone. Like there is no copyright attached to it because of one small editing error. This movie also is the king of the zombie genre, I guess, because this movie influenced and made the zombie genre because it was copyright free because networks and TV stations could use this movie without any harm without really paying anyone because it was free to use the definition of a zombie the definition of a living dead creature kind of stemmed from this movie and the popularity of this movie from the time so that is really exciting to me it's really cool to watch a movie that kind of started something especially a movie like this that started a really huge genre today so i'm really excited to check it out i don't know if they use the word zombie in this movie or if the word zombie comes from another media source but i'm still excited to see kind of the very first definition of a zombie in a movie. And when I say definition of a zombie, I mean the modern definition of a zombie. There are probably different versions of zombies and living dead creatures back in the 1960s, 50s, 40s, whenever a film was being made and beyond that. But I'm talking about like the contemporary day, modern day version of a zombie. This movie definitely started that trend. And before we get into this reaction, let me do the lighting. So we turn on the light and decide what color it should be. Boop. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so the lighting today, I'm actually gonna go green because the poster, that's not really green. That's more green. I'm gonna go green because the poster is black and white and the, the title is very, very green. So I'm just gonna go to green in honor of the title. Although I do think that this, I'm pretty sure that this is a black and white movie. I know there's a colorized version, but I'm not gonna watch the colorized version. So because this is a black and white movie, you're not going to see the lighting in the video because the video is going to be black and white itself. But for me, and maybe for you guys at home, if you're doing a color changing light along with me, I'm going green today. And if you'd like to check out more of my reactions, you can head over to my Patreon of uncut reactions to many of the movies I watch on YouTube, as well as early access reactions to my movies that come out one week early. Thank you so much if you check it out. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, let's get into it. It's the morning time for me, but it's the night time for these guys on screen. I hope you enjoy my reaction to Night of the Living Dead. Night of the Living Dead. Let's see it. So it's also is interesting because I just watched Rosemary's Baby, which is also made in 1968. And you can see how the budget for the two movies definitely, Rosemary's Baby had a huger budget, you know? Like you could just already tell instantly the budget difference. <laughs> why drive to a cemetery? You know, why? Why go to a cemetery ever? Marrow. I heard that he made a remake of this movie. I'm not 100% though, but I heard that he did. A lot of good the extra daylight does us. Now we've still got a three hour drive back. We're not gonna be home until after midnight. Oh, you're not gonna be home till later now, buddy. Mother wants to remember, so we trot 200 miles into the country and she stays at home. Well, we're here, John, all right? Yeah, might as well put it on now. Uh, ladies and hey, gentlemen, dude. We're coming back on the air after an interruption due to technical problems. No, don't turn it off, no! Just an hour's sleep on the time change. I think you complain just to hear yourself talk. There it is. I like that line. I think you complain just to hear yourself talk. That's a good line. Hey, come on, Barb. Church was this morning, huh? I hear thunder, but I see no clouds. You used to really be scared here. Johnny! You're still afraid. Stop. I hate cemeteries. I am also afraid of cemeteries for some reason. Stop it! You're acting like a child! Look, they're coming for you! Look. Who is this man? What if it's a zombie? It's probably the caretaker, though. Oh, no! oh what the heck? Oh my god, he's trying to eat. He's a zombie, but he's a pretty good looking zombie, I gotta say. Run, Barbara, run! Not the shoe! Cinderella, you lost your shoe! Oh my god, this is a smart zombie, I gotta say.
Come on, Barbara. Yes, escape, escape the man. Funny if that wasn't a zombie, it's just some man, some weirdo. Cause he doesn't look decomposed and dead and stuff like that. Barbara, you can definitely run faster than him. He is walking slower than a snail. A snail could beat him in a race. This man never stops. He literally never stops. Oh, there's a house. Get in the house. I like how like floppy she is, you know? She's flopping over everything, but I like it. Oh, she made it in. Oh, I look at the lighting here though. I love how it's just the door frame illuminated and like this very nice circle glow. Anyone home? Hello? Ah, oh, what the heck? Why did you have to do that, camera? I wonder if all the zombies in this movie are just gonna look like regular, regular people. Oh, there's multiple! She's like, hey friends, hey, I found this woman. <laughs> So is it just gonna be Barbara versus zombie invasion? That would be kind of sick. Oh, what the heck? Are you serious? You wanna go inside? Oh, Jesus Christ, who are you? Do you live here? No. No, she does not. There's a dead body at the top of the stairs. How did you get here? That is my question. Oh, oh man. Barbara, can you speak, please? What's happening? Thank you. The zombies have learned vandalism. Hit him. Boom. Nice. Nice. Watch out behind you. Keep whacking, keep whacking, son. Oh man. That's such a great shot because immediately you're like, I don't know who this is. It could be the no the guy. And then it's a zombie. Because he's wearing a white shirt. Yeah, that's cool. All the zombies just like they look like sick people. in the head. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. I love the lighting in this movie. The lighting is really good. So many harsh shadows. Oh, he's still alive. You gonna light him on fire? See, I would never be able to do this. I cannot light a match. It takes me like 800 tries to light a match. That's a good zombie killing weapon. You know, hammer's actually very useful. I know you're afraid. I'm afraid too. I'd be lashing out as well. Play, sir. Do you understand? Okay? Okay? I know Barbara is in this like state of shock and panic and disbelief. And the person that she was just with is probably dead. But she's still annoying me because she's not speaking and she's not helping in any way. She's just walking slowly like a dazed buffoon. That's a good shot. Imagine if a zombie came down the chimney like Santa Claus. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you. Yeah, this room looks pretty secure. This guy has done a good job. Across the road, where there must have been 10, 15 of those things chasing after it. Whoa, that actually sounds so epic. So is there a zombie apocalypse right now? Still hear the man screaming. No. Oh. Not super sick. I noticed that the entire place had been encircled. Encircled. 
scattered through the air like bugs. Wow. Can I have some candy, Barbara? Um, we didn't have any. If you had candy, this would have all been avoided, let me tell you. If you'd gotten up earlier, we wouldn't be late. Johnny asked me. So basically, this is Johnny's fault, because if Johnny had gotten up earlier, he would have left the cemetery. Johnny! Johnny, help me! Oh, help me! And he did. And Johnny didn't come. We've got to... We have to wait for Johnny. Johnny is dead, Barbara. We better go out and get him. We have to go out and get Johnny. Out of all the ideas in the world, that one is just the worst. My brother is not dead! If I was that man, I'd be like, you can go. Barbara, you can go. You can go. She really just said, let me faint. Because of the obvious threat to untold numbers of citizens, and because of the crisis which is even now developing... Okay, so it's across the country. ...homes and suburbs with no apparent pattern or reason for the slayings. It seems to be a... They're calling the zombies assassins. They're like, hey, nice car. Maybe I want to take it for a spin. ...of employment, not to make any attempt to get to their homes. However, in spite of this urging and warning, streets and high... That's cool, my dude. <laughs> this guy literally is the zombie slayer. He is so cool. High-ranking scientist from the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. That's the extent of this fight. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's another door. ...reasons for this wave of murder. So far, the able to give the public is This guy seems... Kind of tired. Barbara, I think you need to help him. With the report of the slaying of a family of seven in their rural home near Belfort. Is that a gun? Oh yeah, there was bound to be one. This person who owned this house was a hunter. It was soon apparent that we have a gun and bullets, food and the radio. They're pretty stocked up. Enforce the windows and doors later. But you'll be all right for now, okay? Thank you, kind man. Old newsman that murder victims show evidence of having been partially devoured by their murderers. You and you know that person upstairs looks like it was partially devoured. So is there a zombie in the house? These in Cumberland have concluded that in all cases, the killers are eating the flesh. Mmm, yeah, because they zombies, bro. Murder victims show evidence of having been partially devoured by their murderers. Medical it's so interesting watching this movie where when the zombie genre wasn't a thing because people wouldn't know like radio announcers wouldn't know, people wouldn't know, the general public wouldn't know. But if this happened nowadays, everyone would just go zombies, you know? It's kind of interesting. This wave of mass murder. Oh, I know, who are these people? These aren't zombies, these are regular people with weapons. How long have you guys been down there? I could use some help up here. That's the cellar, it's the safest place. They've been in this cellar the entire time. Are you serious? Now you say it's not like the place was being ripped apart. It would be nice if you get your story straight, man. Oh, yeah. right. They were just scared wimps. Now you tell me those those things can't get through this lousy pile of wood. His wife and kids downstairs. I think I think they could get through. It would just take some time. But if there's enough of them, I think they could get through. As soon as they know we're here, this place is going to be crawling with them. Well, if they're that many, they'll probably get us wherever we are. Yeah, that's so true. You got a point, Mr. Cooper. But down in the cellar, there's no place to run to. I mean, if they... Yeah, there you go. But down there, with no windows, if a rescue party did come, we wouldn't even know it. Thank you. Thank you, my man. Let's think about this. We can make it to the cellar if we have to. Yeah. And if we do decide to stay... Leave it as the last option. Out back, too. Ah! God, I knew that was gonna happen. I was literally just about to say a hand's gonna come out. He's really slashing the hand. Oh, it's... oh. Nice shot. He's still gonna be alive, though. You need to shoot the head. Oh, nice. Why is there a naked one, huh? Why? Why? See, some of these guys are looking a lot more like zombies than others. Like, the zombies today. Now, if you're going down the cellar, get! The man's insane. He's insane. 
We've, we've You're the one who looks insane. It is tough for the kid that old man is so stupid. Now, get the hell down and- I love this guy. Bastards! You know I won't open this door again. I mean it. Okay, congratulations. You're gonna let them get hurt too, huh? It's alright, honey. Go ahead. Is that his wife? They want to stay up there, let him. This poor child. I hope nothing happens. Maybe it's shock. Where'd you get the bandage? Some... Was she bitten? Is she becoming a zombie? Whatever it is, it isn't just happening here. It's some kind of mass murder. It's going... Yeah, it's happening everywhere. News bulletin. There's a radio upstairs and you boarded us in down here? I know what yes. I'm doing. What did... Get mad. People are supposed to look for a safe place to hide. Take the boards off that door. Yes, thank you. Tell us what to do. How are we going to know what's going on if we lock ourselves in this dungeon? Man likes to throw things on the floor. Mr. Cooper, Ben found a television set upstairs. Oh, really? Yeah. If Judy would come downstairs for a- Wait, that was such a weird cut. Why don't you just bring the kid upstairs too? Actually, no, that's a bad idea. Barbara is going loopy. She is going insane in the membrane. What? What is it, Barbara? This place is ridiculous. Look at this. All Cooper is so funny to me. He just like walks around oh, angry all the time. Why don't you do something to help somebody? Yeah, thank you. Play with the rabbit ears. It reports, incredible as they seem, are not. Rabbit ears, is that the antenna? Eastern third of the nation is being committed by creatures who feast upon the flesh of their victims. Yeah, zombies. Those who have recently died have been returning to life and committing acts of murder. Yeah, they have. It's concluded that the unburied dead are coming back to life and seeking human victims. Yeah. Q station nearest you and make your way to that location as soon as possible. Oh, now they have to go outside. Why are space experts being consulted about an earthbound emergency? Maybe they're aliens. By NASA, when scientists discovered it was carrying a mysterious high-level radiation with it. Oh no, that's what caused this. Newsman Don Quinn in Washington has posed the So these are zombies from Venus basically. They are created from Venus. Have to have a barrier. Yes. Will will there be a will there be a reply for this for the later? Class? Yes. There will be a reply. Later. Oh, that was so nice of them. And began to move its trunk. It was dead, but it opened its eyes and tried to move. Kinda cool. I heard I'll come back down as soon as I find out what- Me with my back every day. I hurt. <laughs> to death then does the body become reactivated. It's only a matter of minutes. See, this is the lore section of the place. Yeah, that's right. It better be this door. It's closer to the truck. Mmm, good idea. I found it abandoned. I can handle the truck, no sweat. What if he stole the truck? Well, I mean, I guess he did. Never mind. But I didn't say anything. Come on, honey, we gotta move. We gotta move. If I could only call the folks, they're going to be so worried about us. What if they're zombies? I hope they are. It, it's not like just a wind passing through. We've got to do something, and fast. It's like a hurricane. Where's that big smile for me? Hmm. Boy. I like these two. She's right. You have to go downstairs now, just for a little while, until we get- Barbara hasn't spoken a line in about five hours. <laughs> How many do you think are going to be right outside the door? <laughs> now look, he's dying. He's dying. <laughs> he's making cocktails. Molotov cocktails, basically. Go, 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 go. Nice, rip his shirt. I'm going with him. No, 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 no. Well, you're dying. Oh my god. Mr. Cooper, get a life. 
The zombie's like, ow, why did you have to do that? Nice, 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 nice. Drive over them. Watch out. That works, I guess. Watch the dart! Oh, man. You gotta get away from the pump! No, no, this did not work very well, did it? What if they explode? What if they explode? Have you left this man? Not the hero. Oh my god, did it explode? Oh my god. Sayonara, suckers. Jeez Louise though, I can't believe they both just died. I knew one of them was gonna die. I didn't think both of them were gonna die. Oh man, you have to shoot them in the head. Shoot them in the head. This is looking pretty hopeless for him. Let him in! Cooper! Cooper! Cooper, I'm going to whack you. That look. That look. Set fire to Cooper's face. Nice. Yeah. He deserves that. He deserves that. Just keep slapping him. Nice. I'm not even, I'm not mad at all. Like, Cooper deserves this. Oh, are they gonna be zombies now? They're burnt corpses? No, because they caught fire, they exploded, right? Oh, but they're eating the burnt flesh still. They're like, mmm, it's cooked, it's cooked to perfection. There's supposed to be another broadcast at three o'clock. Well, the broadcasters got eaten. It's ten minutes to three. Barbara has lost her mind, like completely lost her mind. Like it is dripping out of her ears. What's wrong with her? How'd she get hurt? One of those things grabbed her. Oh Bit no. Her on the arm. No, if she got bitten, she's a zombie. Is she conscious? Barely. She can't walk, she's too weak. You have to shoot her. You're gonna have to shoot her. The car? Johnny has the keys. Yes, yeah, say that again, Barbara. <laughs> Fighting over the piece of meat. I'm covering such a search and destroy operation against the ghouls. This one conducted by Sheriff Conan McClellan. I guess they're calling them ghouls. Can be killed by a shot in the head or a heavy blow to the skull. There you go. Here we go. These are the normal laws of zombies. Dragon, Gus. Uh, no, we're all right. Okay. Hey, Gus, put that thing all the way in. So this movie doesn't use the word zombie, so I wonder where the word zombie came in connection with the idea that this movie presents. All messed up. Well, uh, in time, would you say you ought to be able to wrap this up in 24 hours? 24 hours? We're working our way toward Willard, and we'll team up with the National Guard over there, and then we'll be able to give a more definite view. But they're meeting up in Willard, and that's where that's... Well, these guys are close to how long it may take to kill off all the flesh eaters so long as the heavy rain oh my god the power has been cut is the fuse box in the cellar i don't know i oh no the little lady the kid is gonna be zombie oh my god they're learning they're having weapons That was the most lazy throw of all time. The zombie's just so done with life. If Cooper doesn't die in this movie, I'm gonna be disappointed. Nice! Nice! Is someone gonna get shot? Oh! Okay, but he was gonna become a zombie now, right? Because dead bodies make you zombies. I just murder Cooper. He's been wanting to do that the whole film. I hope the daughter bites him. Barbara, help! Oh. Oh, yeah. She's a zombie. 
imagine you see your daughter eating your father, your husband's arm? <laughs> Oh my god, she's gonna shovel you to death. She's about to get shot so hardcore. Oh, never mind. The zombie's actually murdering this woman. This isn't looking very good. He's like, come here. Come here, sister. Barbara's gone. Barbara is now zombie too. Oh, wait, he's the only one left. Is he gonna die too? Is the movie gonna end with everyone dying? Oh god, behind you, watch out, she's got a shovel. Oh, never mind, she decided to drop her shovel. I don't think he's getting out of this situation. I like that they're using the table legs as battering rams, that's fun. Shoot him, you're gonna have two more zombies down here. Wow, that is, that is gruesome. He's like, finally I get to shoot you again. Okay, don't waste all your bullets on him though, come on. to shoot her too. Yes, he's realized. Okay, so it's the day. It's the day. Is he gonna live? So I'm just like, I need to go to sleep. We're nocturnal creatures. They're just a little late. All right, Steve, tell him we're gonna stay with it and uh, everything appears to be under control. Appears, appears. Oh, he's still alive. Imagine if they think he's a zombie because he looks like so tired. <laughs> Can you imagine? You can escape. Go. Be free. I'm kind of scared he's going to get shot. There's something there. I heard a noise. Oh, God. He's going to get shot. All right, Vince. Hit him in the head. Right between No! Oh, why did I know that was going to happen? That's it. That's it. It just ends like that. I guess it has to. Dang it. I think I knew he was gonna die. Ah, it's so annoying. And that was my reaction to Night of the Living Dead, the 1968 horror sci-fi starring Dwayne Jones, Judith Odia, Carl Hardman, Judith Ridley, Bill Cardile, and of course, Bill Heinzman as zombie number one. The first depicted flesh-eating zombie in cinema history which is really really cool and imagine being like you're just like this cast is like this extra as a zombie but then you become the first zombie ever in film that would, that's kind of cool and zombie number one appropriate title for him i thought that movie was pretty good i was never really scared during it but i mean it is a older movie that's not to say older movies are generally not scary it's just to say that they have less impact on being scary to me just because they are older i don't know why it's just i mean i was never really terrified of this movie but i still thought it was a good movie and it was a really cool introduction it was really cool to watch just for even just historical context in terms of this was the first genre zombie movie that has now spun into so many other types of zombie movies and if this if it wasn't for this movie i guess eventually someone would have made a zombie movie but if it wasn't for this movie everything we have zombie related would be different which is really cool so it was really cool to watch this movie and i was wondering while watching this movie where the term zombie 
comes from because in this movie they use the term undead, they use the term ghouls a lot of the times to reference the zombies, but they never use the word zombie. So I was wondering where in time did the word zombie get connected to the idea of the ghouls and the undead that this movie presents. And so then you become, then the word zombie means how we know it today. That's something I was wondering and something maybe I'll look up after this review, but also if you guys would like to chime in on that, then feel free. But yeah, I thought this movie was actually pretty good. The directing of this movie was pretty good. The lighting of the movie was good. The acting of this movie was good. The the, the zombies looked pretty cool, although they looked... It was It's interesting looking at zombies here and then looking at zombies in other media because the zombies I'm used to now are like very undead, very like, ooh, like decomposing and stuff like that and very limp. But these ones were definitely more stiff zombies and they looked basically like people just like, they looked like sick people for the most part. So it was very interesting design, but I did like them. But the most interesting thing about this movie was that it felt very mundane and that is not in a bad way. It just felt like a slice of life almost because things would happen in this movie, big things would happen in this movie, and it would never really be mentioned in the movie as being a big thing, or it would never feel in the movie like it's a big thing. For example, when Ben dies at the end of the movie, when he gets shot because people think he's a zombie, you would, in most movies you would expect like this climax of music, and then maybe a pause, and then the gunshot to chime out, and to echo across the land, and then boom, music as he collapses to the floor, like very dramatic scenes. But in this movie, there's silence, there's no music, he gets shot, the guy and the guy next to the guy who does the shooting goes, good shot, let's get the body. And then the movie ends. It's There's no dramaticness behind the scene, there's no extended drama, there's no climaxing music, it's just boom, gunshot, body falls to the floor, good shot, let's get the body, movie ends. It felt very mundane, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. It was kind of cool to see a movie where all these big events were not necessarily accompanied by a dramatic score or by dramatic camera shots or slow motion and stuff like that. It was almost refreshing in a way, and I really enjoyed it, although at times it was a little difficult to get into the action because of how, I don't know, it just, mundane is the word I'm going to use, but mundane feels like it's just the wrong word to use, but you know, like there are times where the zombies were reaching through the doors and there were like 20 of them reaching through the doors and it was super dramatic for the characters but there was like no music and the characters seemed to be like they were panicking and stuff but because there was like this lack of music and the zombie effects were kind of quiet in the background it just kind of felt like it didn't feel like the tension was there as much as maybe it would if the score was kind of going off in the distance or if, even if the zombies were a little bit louder I don't know like there were definitely moments where I thought that the quietness of the movie really paid off but then there were other times where I wish the movie had been a little bit louder. Okay so let's get into the reviews of this movie and then I will talk a little bit about the sound even though I just talked about it a little bit there. Then I'll talk about the camera work slash the lighting because I thought that was really good and I don't know if I'm going to talk about the cast. I'll probably talk about Dwayne Jones in the cast because I thought he was really awesome and Judith O'Diaz, Barbara. I actually did not like Barbara in this so when she died I was like... Barbara, you died, even though she kind of redeemed herself in the end a little bit. So reviews on this movie, 7.8 out of 10 on IMDb and 96% on Rotten Tomatoes. So obviously this is a classic movie. It is a genre defining movie. It is the first of a genre movie. So people are going to be way more open to it, accepting to it. And I, I'm glad that people can find a lot of enjoyment from this movie. I'm sure it was really fun to watch this movie if it came out, if you were alive in 1968 and got to go watch this movie. I'm sure that was a very fun experience it's something you've never heard of and it's really interesting actually watching this movie hearing news reporters go we don't know what these things are they're undead they're eating flesh and it was really cool to see that because nowadays if this actually happened in real life people would immediately use the word zombie like there is a word for this now but i love that there was no word for it back in 1968 when this movie was released so they had to go through all these descriptions and stuff to help audiences to help people understand what was happening it was just something kind of small that i really thought was cool and how and it was really cool to see how times have changed and now that we have now we have an actual word that is a single word that describes everything that those people were talking about but yeah i'm glad people like this movie obviously critics like it a little bit more than audiences but 7.8 out of 10 is not a bad score at all so yeah i think i don't know if i'd rate it as high as a 7.10 i enjoyed myself but i wasn't like super invested in the movie the entire time but i think 7.8 is a very good score for this movie as well as 96 i mean 
any any movie would be happy with the 90s. The score for this movie as well, I thought was pretty good. Though when the score was there, I thought it was awesome. But the sound design in this movie in general, I thought was pretty good in terms of it was very silent most of the movie. And although I did have issues with it at times, I wish the sound design would be louder at times just to kind of up the intensity of the scene. I still thought it was pretty good. You got all the gargles and the groans of the zombies in the background. Sometimes you would get like the whistling of the wind and stuff like that or the creaking of the floorboards like it was very good it was very atmospheric i do wish though that it was a little bit louder at times because i like the quiet moments but then sometimes i would want the quiet moment and then i'd want something loud to hit like when the zombies were, go were banging on the door on the front door at some point in the movie there was like a whole whack of them and they were banging on the front door i wish that was so loud i wish that was almost too loud so that it was like kind of disorientating for my disorienting disorientate you know the word for my ears but it was very quiet and very muffled and I don't know if that was just a version of the movie that I watched or if that's how the sound design is made or if it's just because the sound quality is not very good even um, because the budget wasn't very good for this movie or something I don't know what the budget was for this movie but it felt like a very a fairly low budget movie but yeah I just wish that like the sound there for instance was louder because it would have been cool because we had this really silent moment and then all of a sudden the banging on the door starts and then it just never lets up and it's so loud and it makes the character it makes me scared because it's so loud for the characters and for myself as well you know so I wish that the sound was a little bit louder at times the lighting in this movie was fantastic I love the use of black and white and there is a colored version of this movie the color version of this movie probably does not look as good. I was thinking about that during the movie, how this look in color. I think it would look a lot cheaper and I think it would lose a lot of its kind of mysterious vibe whenever the lights are out or whenever you have that very harsh black and white lighting because with color you add more detail, with more detail kind of it kind of lessens the the mystery of these things because you can see a lot more detail, right? And I think this movie works very well in black and white, especially when all the lights are out. For example, when Barbara enters the house for the first time and she's all alone and the lights are out and the only light is coming from outside through the windows and you see like these big these big circles of light and she's kind of centered almost like a spotlight inside of them and then it's the black these dark black shadows and even though you're pretty sure there's no zombies in the house you never quite know for sure if there's going to be a zombie lurking in these shadows so i thought that the lighting was done really well in this there were a lot of really great moments where you'd have just streaks of light and the characters would be placed in those streaks of light and then just darkness everywhere else it was very atmospheric it was very good it added a lot of tension and suspense to a lot of shots that even though you knew there weren't going to be zombies in the shadows it still kind of was like but what if there's a zombie in the shadow you know so i thought the lighting was really good in this movie the directing as well especially the directing when it came to ben as a character i thought was really cool because the directing made ben seem so heroic no not even heroic so tough so stone cold because the camera would be kind of placed down looking up at him just a little bit the lighting would be kind of just on his face but there would also be like a darkness surrounding him it was really cool to see i thought the directing of this movie was was pretty good there was nothing special about it to me but i still thought it was it was pretty good it was fairly immersive when it came to that you know we were in a house for most of the movie so the camera had to kind of just move around be, to make the house seem more interesting and i never felt like i was we were in the house for too long you know i never felt bored of the location hit bored because they were boarding the house haha <laughs> i never felt bored of the location so that's the props to the directing also i'm seeing here that the budget of this movie was 114,000 to 125,000 dollars i don't know if that is 1968 money or if that's calculated for inflation and that's today's money but either or that's not that much money i mean maybe in 1968 that's a fair bit but i don't know how much inflation has gone since then so that's not that much money and I think they did a really good job with the budget of this movie because it did look pretty good and, you know, it spawned off every other zombie movie after this, so it's pretty cool. Okay, I'm just going to talk about Dwayne Jones as Ben. I'm sorry if I'm saying his name wrong. It's like Duane, Duane. I'm going to say Dwayne Jones as Ben. I think he was the coolest character. Every other character in this movie was fine. Um, I thought that I liked his relationship with Harry Cooper the most, especially because they just hated each other. And it was kind of satisfying to see Harry get punched and then kind of satisfying to see him get shot as well. Like, I don't condone this or anything, but, like, he was kind of annoying. He was kind of a wimp. He was kind of just making everything worse. But then also the same could go towards Barbara because Barbara was literally the most useless character in this entire movie. Yes, she kind of redeemed herself in the end because she helped Karen, I think her name was. She helped Karen, 
but like she didn't do anything she had this whole section of the movie where she was she had the first bit she was the main character and it's like okay barbara's our main character and then when ben comes in barbara basically says nothing for the entire movie she just sits on the couch and she just stares and like barbara i know that you've lost your brother i know that this is a pretty horrible situation that you're in right now but the whole world well at least the whole east coast of the u.s is kind of in the same boat as you a lot of people have lost a lot of people um dwayne jones has probably lost someone you need to kind of get a hold of yourself i need i wanted to just shake it like get a hold of yourself like you need to start helping and she never really did you know even when she did help ben it was like four sticks of wood. Like, how is the... He didn't even use the wood. Like, how is that going to help Barbara? So, I she was just kind of grating to me because, like, she was a fine character and I had nothing really against her. Like, she never did anything wrong, but that's exactly the issue. She never did anything to begin with. And it was just, it was just annoying because I was like, I know you can help. I know you can help. Just come on, stop staring into the void and let's help. But Ben was really cool. Dwayne Jones's Ben was really awesome. He he was just kind of like your hero. He was like, he had a lot of main character moments. And then when he died at the end, it was very sad. But I knew it was coming because it just felt like it was coming. You know, it was just like, I know this is going to happen. I know this is going to happen. A lot of horror movies like to have little twists like this at the end of them. And I was like, okay, this feels like Ben's going to die. Like, he's alone, there are no zombies around him, the people, there are a lot of people with guns, and they're in the mood to shoot things at the moment, shoot anything that moves at the moment. So, like, they're probably not expecting any survivors. He's probably going to die. And then he gets shot, and it was, oh, it was not satisfying. It was not a satisfying death in any way, and I'm sad that he died. But I thought he was great. I thought he was a great character. I thought he was really fun, and he really commanded the screen whenever he was on. So yeah, that is my reaction and review to Night of the Living Dead, the 1968 horror sci-fi first zombie film. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much to these wonderful, beautiful, amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot. Um, I don't know if there are sequels to Night of the Living Dead. I probably won't watch them. I just don't know if there are. I think there's a remake by the same director. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think there is a remake by the same director. Don't know how good that's supposed to be, but yeah, that's, that's about all I have to say. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for my next movie reaction.